the outfield was wet, right? So look for opportunities on the bases, okay? Run hard, hard throws, make these guys feel clean, stay, and make them throw it. 0-2 to Murillo, called strike three right down Main Street. This is hit high out in the left. He leaps at the track, it's off the wall. McKay around second on his way to third. He will pull in safely, and it's a leadoff triple. Well, Sparks got the tied run and the go-ahead run, both at scoring position. Hit sharply in the center. That's a base hit. Cart scores. Seymour around third. He scores 3-2 Spartans. And they are teeing off on the dogs here in the second. Regardless of who we were playing or, or where we were, it was just a lot of fun to, to watch them play. And I really feel like, you know, that was the blueprint that, you know, these guys kind of came up with uh, going back to the fall. This one's hit high out the right field. This one is over the scoreboard. Sam Bush, and that makes it 12 to six with his third homer of the year. I think it validates a lot of you know the hard work that our guys have put in since September. We proved to ourselves what we're capable of when we are clicking on all cylinders. When you know we stick to the approach, we stick to the game plan, and it was a lot of fun to watch him play that night. Here's the pitch. Carter takes strike three on the outside corner, and that's the ball game. And Michigan State beats Georgia 19 to six. That's what it's supposed to look like. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have a lot to do on the field wise, like fields wet, raining, so as you can see we're getting after it a little bit in here. With it being a rain out, we kind of did a primer lift to kind of just get them um, feeling good about themselves, kind of get their central nervous system primed for a weekend series. Um, today, kind of just guys will be in for mobility kind of stuff. Um, it's kind of just a nice relaxing day for the guys, honestly, and then we'll get ready to play two tomorrow. Everybody and welcome to Fleur Field at the West End as the first pitch invitational tournament continues here. Good morning, everybody. Man, it was cold here, about 37, windy, rainy. Leading off will be Michigan State taking on Western Michigan. Oh, no, three, one, two, three. Oh, no. Outside corner, that is a big pitch. Hit up the middle for a base hit. One will score. We played a really good game, but we knew we had it in us. It was no surprise. We're capable of that, and we just were able to show it. There's a high drive. Way back out of here, left field, home run. In the second row of the Green Monster seats are turning around. You know, it's been a, a blast. It's an unreal experience. You know, this is my fourth year here, and it feels like home. Um, everybody always says that, you know, he's here, juniors, seniors, and people who've been here forever. Um, they're like, this place feels like home, and it's really true. They treat us so well. The longer that we're on the road together, the more time that we get to spend together is beneficial, kind of going through the season, experiencing the ups and downs, and definitely brings you closer together. It's an unbelievable experience for our, our players. The, the teams are formed in the locker room. When you're on the road for 12 straight days because of spring break, you know, we bring everybody on, on this trip. And so that's, you know, that's where the, the heart and soul of the team is, is kind of formed. And, you know, we tell our guys, you know, you're going to remember those moments in the locker room. You're going to remember the moments at dinner, or walking back and forth, you know, to the field, things like that, more than you're going to remember you know, the outcome or the score of the game or, you know, how you played in that particular game. That's the stuff, you know, 25, 30 years from now that they're going to really remember. Fight, 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 fight,